Welcome to the Garden of Information Center. HIV uh, is one of the for the HIV treatment. Um, when you are breastfeeding children, the milk is not coming out. You use the back of the tree. When you feel it, it's wild liquid, liquid coming out. You can drink. Although it's bitter, they send out the milk quickly. It's now that women are using that before light. <laughs> Natural savon. So what we are seeing here, here is the center of it. It's nice. Hey loves, welcome back to our Limbe tour. Hope you're enjoying the tour so far. So today is Botanic Garden Day. Friends of the Limbe of the Botanic Garden in collaboration with LBG. Sustaining the Limbe Botanic Garden with support from PSMNR Southwest Region. Your camera is fine. Hey guys, have I even introduced myself on your you channel? Haven't, you haven't, you haven't. haven't. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Yes, uh, our channel. <laughs> Hello, I'm Carol. Yes. Yeah, this is Virtue Grace here. I'm visiting Limbe City. I've been in Cameroon, enjoying Cameroon. And today I'm linking up with my beautiful friend and sister, Hello, I'm Carol. So now we are at the Botanic Garden. She's taking me around the city. I'm just spending a day in Limbe and so far so good. We're enjoying it. So. Remember to subscribe to her channel if you have not subscribed though. And if subscribe to her here, channel. Her subscribe. link is in the description box, okay? Thank you. Go to her channel. See yeah. how she's glowing. Camera <laughs> is good though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so, so while now in the Botanic Garden, want to come here from there, you're going to see our next stop. Okay? Yes. This little bridge at the entrance of the garden reminds me so much of my primary school days. My primary school is actually directly opposite the entrance of the garden. I will always leave school to come and stand at this bridge to watch fish swim. Can you guys even believe? More than 10 years ago, and the species of fish that was found in this water was actually the really colorful fish. So it was really pleasing for the eyes. I mean, what better eyesight can a kid ask for than that it was so much fun yeah if you see some standing there mm. at first they used to be really this place used to be shiny you used to see actual nyanga fish we got so lucky on this particular day after i paid at the receptionist for our entrance fee i then asked the receptionist for a tour guide and he was like uh i was supposed to have told him that before him making the receipt and he showed me their price list there's actually a different fee you pay when you're using the services of a tour guide and i was just like uh sorry i had no idea about that and he was just like nah he cannot cancel the receipt so it's a lock for us to use the services without actually paying that was how he called the tour guard on phone and then he took us to where the tour guard was he was already touring the garden with some white and that was how we joined the theme without even paying a single dime for that services fam god is great you are welcome to, you are welcome to limbe botanic garden botanic garden is 48 hectares but what we are going to visit here is uh, just about uh, 25 meters of uh, ocean of water. Where we are now, we are under the uh, the nutmeg tree, and you see some of the up. When they are ready, they falls down, then you you, pick. you cannot have it. And botanic garden was started by the Germans since 1892. After they left, the British took over five years. Now is controlled by the forestry and wildlife, the Minister of Forestry and Wildlife in Yaoundé. Thank you. The tree called the Njangsan tree, which is the, one of the, um, the spice that they sell in the market. And it's very expensive. We have the female and the male uh, type of Njangsan. The male one is the one that they use for shortage of blood. If you have shortage of blood, you use a male type, then you peel the back, you boil it and drink once every day, twice a day. Uh, the big tree that we call it, uh, locally we call it milk tree. The scientific name we call it Antonia congensis. 
is one of the chief of malaria treatment that you peel the bark then you use the bark you drink that at first women that were using it like um, when you are breastfeeding children the milk is not coming out you use the bark of the tree when you peel it it's wild liquid liquid coming out you can drink although it's bitter they send out the milk quickly it's now that women are using that before light that is the easier <laughs> Bitter cola tree. All of the trail of what? Bitter cola. Okay. Bitter cola tree. All of these ones are bitter cola. You know bitter cola? No. Bitter cola is one of the um, if you are you have stomach ache, it's only for stomach ache and gastric patient. You can use the bag or use the foot. But the most important thing you can use is the bag of the tree because it helps for well. even poisons. You want to eat, you want to go somewhere. Or snake bites you, you use the back of the tree of the Cola, it will be okay for you. You know, only Coca Cola. No, it's not Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not with Coca Cola. <laughs> and Bitter Cola contains nicotine. Why? Nicotine. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No, Bitter Cola, I mean, when we talk about Bitter Cola, you want to eat Bitter Cola um, without, don't spill it. With just a chew. peeling? Don't peel it, yeah. Just wash it and you just chew everything. Yeah. It helps from stomach ache. The why are we peeling it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. People are doing that. That's what I'm saying. As a okay. Specialist, I know that if you want to eat bitter cola, you should not peel it. Peel it. All right. I've learned something. So we have, do uh, you know quinine tablet? Yes, quinine. Yeah, quinine tablet from for malaria. Filaria. So you have this one, this is a quinine tree. If you call it uh, Anikia chloranta, you see the yellow type like this. It's bitter, but it helps for uh, easiest way for malaria, sending it back. Mm -hmm. You peel the back, you boil it. When you boil it, you start to like coffee. So like a yeah, when you drink it, in one yeah, week or two days time, you'll be yeah. okay. It's very bitter, but it's very helpful for malaria treatment. No wonder quinine tablets are very bitter. Yes, yeah, quinine tablets are so bitter. Yeah, that is how quinine also is. This tree is not eatable. We call it Ompelocarpum. Mm. Ompelocarpum is one of the. These are the seeds. When it's matured, it comes brown. It's not mature, it comes green like this. So they use these seeds, tying them on their legs. While the traditional dances are that, you make. Mm. Yeah, those are the seeds. Is it what the northern people tie on their yes. legs? Even women can take and tie like bangles. Yeah, nice. It's very good, but it's not eatable. Please let me see. This one is for the health of the Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, this is it. Even the Bamleki people tie this thing. But, uh, we have two uh, type of Jansa tree. So this is the male Jansa that you can use for uh, the blood, shortage of blood. If you have this one, you peel the bark, you boil as I said. You just drink it like water. You send your blood back. So this is the male. If you see the difference, it's, when you see the difference of uh, the male and the female in Jansa, you see the uh, the female the is female. very small, while the male is broad. Have you heard about HIV? Of course. So HIV uh, this is one of the for the HIV treatment. It doesn't cure, but it reduces the temperature of if you have it. But look as it is like this. Don't come tomorrow that you want to just take the leaf and go and use it. They have their own procedure that they should use it. The name is down there. So they discovered, the doctor who discovered this plant is from Korob. And if they want to use it, they have to go to the lab. It's the doctor who will determine the quantity that you have to use. So this is one of the uh, uh, um, the plants that they can help to cure the HIV treatment. Okay. The jungle village. From the jungle village, we go down to the war grave site. As I said, earlier said, in the war grave site, nobody was buried there. It's just a symbol. So if we arrive there, don't be afraid to go inside just to see the names which are there. Yeah, even when you are entering the, the entrance of coming inside here, there's a big tree that you pass on your left. That is a Iroko. So this is a small one. This is a small Iroko tree. Small Iroko, yeah. 
Oh my god. There are two species that you can, you have to consult first. You have the uh, the iron wood, which iron is a azubi. Mm -hmm. Then the black stick. They use it to make furniture, the iron wood. Uh, the iron wood, they use it only for charcoal. Okay. Yeah, okay, yes, iron charcoal. Then you have the ebony, the black stick. Mm -hmm. Those two trees, before chopping any of it, you have to consult from the forest and wildlife. If not, you can chop it down, the meat to the five years, 20 million. Ah! Oh. Hey, see mosquitoes. Yeah, there are mosquitoes here. Hey! There are lots of mosquitoes for family members. Grace says, see mosquito. <laughs> ah, mosquito. I treated malaria just in December. It was bad. I was very sick. So, <laughs> she doesn't want to see mosquitoes. mosquitoes. She doesn't even know that we're in the jungle of mosquitoes. Should we tell her? <laughs> she said, if you're watching this video, you know why you did not come here because of mosquitoes. <laughs> Should we tell her? I've literally just really loved. Like, she was killing mosquitoes. She said, ah, see mosquitoes. <laughs> Here we are, we are in the jungle village. The jungle village is a place of an occasion, any marriage, anything you want to do to Botanic Garden. You have the grandstand up there, you have the dressing room, you have the toilet down there, the female and male side. What we are seeing here is, uh, there was a tree planted up there, and uh, the ficus, we call it ficus, is in Liana. Mm. It chopped down, the, the main tree was planted. To kill it. So now it's just a liana. We call it liana, which is a climber. That's why you see it has been there for eight years, eh? Eight years. Eight years. Wow. So the jungle village is for everybody. If you want to come and do any occasion, they arrange it for you. You bring a canopy for so the city. So the place was renovated by the official rally, which is 1989. That's why you see the step and see point. And they call it jungle. You know why they call it jungle? No. It's a quiet place that you come and maybe want to do whatever, like what you are, you are seeing there. People are on the church, doing their I mean, prayers. And you can you come here, no problem. What they call the brushes palm is just like coconut. The brushes palm is a tree here. You see some of them up there. The borachus fruits are used for if you have like your heart is beating a lot. You peel the back. When you peel it well, you chew it. It's very bitter. They help when your when your heart is beating a lot. It helps to reduce the temperature. So when it is like you see the the seeds. Here is the seeds which is inside here. But when you clean it with a knife, you can eat it. It's nice. It's very good. Is it the one that has this smell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good now. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <laughs> I look at the, 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 the school, this uh, primary school and secondary school. So maybe the final will be maybe on Saturday or the Saturday or Sunday. That will be the final. Even the Caton Rouge? Huh? The Caton Rouge? Yes. Ah. Katonji is still happening. Yeah, this one we call it uh, elephant food. The one I showed you over there. This is what they call elephant food. Why they call it elephant food is because the elephant love to eat it. They call it Kigelia uh, Africana. And the back of the tree, if any snake bites, you can peel the back and you chew it well. Send out a poison. Then we use a young shoot for eye drop. Mm -hmm. 
Like if you have like conjunctitis, you drop it. Not a small one. So it only cleans your eyes. It's very nice. So as I earlier told you about the wall grip. This is the wall grip. And this the wall you don't happen here in Limit. It happens on San Ankang in Manfi. So what you are seeing here is just uh, the names and where the people come from. Uh, why did they bring it here in Botanic Garden? It's because, because of Botanic Garden is a touristic site that uh, people will come and see what happens on First and Second World War. So what we are seeing here, every 11th of November, if you come here, they are making a small celebration for 50 minutes silence. The, the old soldiers will be here and people will be coming from Yaoundé, Douala to come uh, for the event. After 15 minutes, then they will put on flowers and they will go for refreshment. So oh, they are uh, African soldiers? Yes. You have Nigeria, you have uh, West Africa. I'm seeing Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, yeah. This is Nigeria. This is Nigeria, yeah. And this is still Nigeria. Yeah. The tree, which is uh, the natural Nigeria. Savon. Natural yeah. savon. Savon for wash clothes. Yes. Let's go to the riverside. Okay. Look at the tree. This is a tree here. When we go, I usually take it when I I, I don't have savon in my house. I pick these ones. It's soapy, eh? Yeah, we are going to the riverside and I will try it. You see. I pick my own one. <laughs> natural savon. So what we are seeing here. So when you break it open, see, you have to rub it with water. You see, it's foaming. Very nice. Can you use it for? You, know, you cannot use it for to bathe them. Eh? Yeah. It will scratch. You can use it. You can use it in water. Yes. I saw. Yes, the scent of it. It's nice. Yeah. It's many nice. It doesn't really have a distinct smell, but. But if you use it to bathe, what happen? This COVID time, no. you don't you don't have money to buy soap, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See? You you just come here and pack. Come here and pick to uh, some of them and go and Please, walk. Please, I have to use my Okay. Oh, What's happening? My wife is not for me. You have to rub it hard. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, It doesn't really have a smell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Grace, you say insects are beating what? Insects are beating me on the leg. And she's looking at one white woman pitting her. Yes. That look at her. Her body is her legs. legs. Her legs are red. Then you see the red dot. One, two, three. Mosquito and insects. Where? It is what they say. He will what? Invite an aunt if they step by a wound. He said this thing is edible, right? Yes. He said for what do you think that thing was used for? I know. I know they eat this thing. Yes. Even in Nigeria, I'm going to carry this thing. Souvenir. 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 It fell down straight from nature to the ground. Yeah. No chemicals. Nothing this is nothing. healthy. Purely organic. What did he say this one is used for? Pure. But I know it's medicine. Yeah, it's, it's medicine. medicine. We shall drink it. So we'll drink it. <laughs> we'll eat it. We shall have medicine now. Where? Uh, and there are a lot here. Yeah, I see a lot everywhere. On the ground, everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, see how 
these things waste. This They're wasting. Africa. If it's somewhere in, in our, abroad, the West now, these things will be very expensive. If you know this, they'll even manage it better, and there'll be, so there'll be somebody to be collecting it. it. Yes, yeah. they'll be collecting it. But why well, in Africa, it is what it is. Yeah, as I earlier said about the, the oldest tree in the garden, so this is the oldest tree which is a palm, Zagu tree, called Zagu tree. Um, it's 240 years old. Mm. When you see it, you see the fruits up, just like pineapple, but it's not eatable. So, this is what they call the, the oldest tree in the garden, which is a Zagu tree. Now, I didn't tell you my name. My name is Jumbe Paul. Okay. Working in botanic garden for 36 years. I'm not the 36 only years. Yeah, 36 years. Wow. Yeah, so. so you know everything here. Yeah, things are here. It's just that uh, you don't have chance. You have much time. And uh, if you come to botanic garden, you want to really uh, enjoy botanic garden, you should visit uh, the 48 hectares. When you visit the 48 hectares, you see the side of the forest, the side of the uh, plants which are useful. Here is just for the plants, and we have the forest side. Okay. Mango. We have both mango, the one the female, and we have the dry season and the rainy season. So this one is the rainy season. Rainy season bush mango. Bush mango. And if you want to, if you are, if you want to, if you have a weight of 100 kg, I weigh on 100 kg, you want to reduce your weight. You eat in the sauce of uh, the bush mango sauce without pepper, without maggi. Empty. Yeah. And this one is the, the iron wood. Okay. The iron wood is one of the tree. Uh, all the charcoal that they sell in the market is coming from this one. And when the German were here, they were using this one for constructing bridges because it's very hard wood. Mm -hmm. As I told you about, uh, this one is very lawful for the forestry. When it well, before chopping down this tree, you have to consult the forest and wildlife before they give you a permit and you go and chop it. But if you chop it without the authorization. You go to jail for five years and pay two mil 20 million. So far, we are done here. We are out with Daddy. What's your name again? My name is Ndumbe Paul. Okay, Daddy is Ndumbe Paul. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He's the one who has been working here for 37, 36? 36 years. 36 years. He has been with the Botanic Garden and he knows everything here. Yes. Thanks so much. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, yeah, we are on our way out now. See you at our next venue. It's like now I'm the one who is doing the tourist. <laughs> Grace has, has gone ahead. She's changing her battery of her camera. So we're off to our new location. Peace. It was nice time. Yeah.